I'd like to call to order the February meeting of the Board of Supervisors of East Mark Township. Let's uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Okay, we'll start with uh, roll call. Chief. Brandon Pasquale, Chief of Police. Bill Pulaski, Deputy Chief of Police. Kelly Gall, Township Engineer. Ms. Sullivan, Director of Engineering Services. Dave Chris, Director of Finance. Jeff Wernerbottom, Assistant Manager. Bob Hart, Township Manager. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Kilkenny Solicitor. <laughs> Supervisor Dennis DeSanto. Supervisor Kevin McDevitt. Vice Chair Janelle Winder. Chairman Joe Cabanas. Okay, uh, item three on the agenda swearing in of the five police officers. I understand Don Dead is going to do the honors for us. Yes, sir. I'm going to the break. Brian. Who cares? Who cares? You can hold the Bible for each other. Do Is that right? It's the way you I, uh, Ronald Lutz, Ronald Lutz, you solemnly swear and affirm, you solemnly swear and affirm that I will support, I will support, obey and defend, obey and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will. I will discharge the duties of fire police officer. I will discharge the duties of fire police officer in East Martin Township. In East Martin Township, Montgomery County, Montgomery County, with Fidelity. With Fidelity. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we'll get a picture of you. <clears throat> Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution and the Constitution of this Commonwealth of this Commonwealth and that I will discharge the duties of fire police officer and I will discharge the duties of fire police officer in East Norton Township in East Norton Township Montgomery County Montgomery County with find out with find out congratulations <laughs> uh, I just want to congratulate both of you gentlemen. We uh, hope you'll be serving for a long time and, and thank you for stepping up and thanks for your service. All right, I just want to announce that uh, prior to this meeting, the board met in executive session to discuss matters of personnel and litigation. All right, uh, we have two set of minutes to approve since the last time we met. We had a reorg meeting, a regular meeting, so I'll ask for a motion to or I'll put in, in motion a, a motion to approve the reorganization of the minutes. Are there any comments on that? Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by Vice Chairwoman Minder. 
All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. And now I will also make a motion to approve the meeting, uh, regular meeting minutes of January 3rd. Uh, any comments or corrections or changes to be made to that? Okay, hearing none, I ask for a second. Second by Vice Chair General Winder. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Chris, citizens to be heard, anybody? Have any comments or questions? Excuse me, one moment. No, we do not have anybody online. Okay. All right. Comments by the board. I just want to um, acknowledge February's Black History Month and um, really um, just want to acknowledge the great accomplishments of Black Americans in East Huntington Township as well as all around the world. You know, I have the good fortune of being. Um, growing up in this township and having been afforded a lot of opportunities here. So just want to acknowledge um, the importance of honoring um, the great contributions of Black Americans to this country. So. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to old business. Item A is finalize the 2021 Liquid Fuels Road Program Award. I'd like to tell township engineer Kelly Goff to review this item. Thank you, Supervisor Cabanas. Um, with this motion, I would recommend that you award the base bid and the alternate bids to Miko Constructors in the amount of $729,505. Um, we have reviewed their bid documents and have found that they are compliant with your responsible contractor ordinance. Um, just to remind you, this road program will include improvements along Sawmill Court as well as Green Ridge Drive. The improvements include um, road improvements as well as stormwater infrastructure improvements. Okay, thank you. And the, the fact that it says finalized 2021, I know we're in 2022, but this is a carryover from, That's correct. from there. Okay, just so it's, it's people are aware of that, not a misprint. Okay, any comments from the board? Questions? Okay, here we go. I'll make a proposal to uh, finalize the Liquid Fuels Road Program Award to Miko Constructors <coughs> Incorporated. Do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Second by Supervisor McDevitt. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, um, item number, well, that's not a number, letter B. <laughs> number appointment due to the re resignation of John Cole I would like to call on Township Manager Robert Hart to review this item. Thank you Supervisor Winder. Um, as you said we have a recent vacancy on our planning commission. Um, before tonight is the opportunity to fill that position um, for the balance of Mr. Cole's four-year term which expires December 31st 2022 so at the end of this year um, I know you've had um, at least a couple interested candidates, and that's before you tonight to uh, fill that position if you choose. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hart. Do we have uh, anyone <laughs> to validate one of the two? <coughs> well, okay, I guess it's up to me. Here is none. I'll, I don't nominate Mrs. D'Angelo. For a second, I'll second that motion. Okay, second by Supervisor McDevitt. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, she is our planning commission member for the balance of this year to fill out Mr. Collins' term. All right, new business uh, 2022 MS4 Consulting Services proposal. Uh, with, uh, Remington Bright Engineers, I'd like to call in Township Engineer Kelly Goff to review the item. Thank you, Supervisor DeSantis. Um, this proposal will include services for your MS4 program. These, all the services are requirements of your MS4 DEP permit. Some of the services um, include uh, um, tasks related to filling your minimum control measures, such as public education and outreach. 
um, illicit discharge detection and elimination measures, um, as well as um, pollution prevention and good housekeeping measures. Um, the amount for the 2022 services is in the amount of $33,354. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Any questions from any of the board members? Okay. Hearing none, I will make a motion to approve the consulting services for 2022 and this board consulting services by Huntington and Vernick Engineers. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Supervisor DeSanto. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, item B, uh, Recycling Services Contract Renewal. FX Brand Incorporated. I'd like to call on the uh, engineering director, uh, Mr. James Sullivan. Thank you, Supervisor McDivitt. Uh, we have a proposal from FX Brown Incorporated. They did uh, these services for us last year, and currently we're going to receive a grant almost $59,000 uh, sometime in March. I didn't tell Dave yet, so he just found out right now. Um, <laughs> They charge us $4,800 for a yearly service, which is a lot less than the previous uh, consultant we used to use. I would recommend you approve this proposal. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Any comments from the board? Questions? Okay, then I will make a motion to approve the recycle service contract renewal for FX Brown Incorporated. Do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Second by Supervisor McDevitt. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> motion carries. All right, item C, the escrow release number eight for Bradbury Point. And again, I'd like to call on the illustrious Mr. Sullivan. This is the final uh, number eight. This is it. There's no more into this. Oh, no, this won't be the last one. Are there more? Okay. Yeah, there'll be more, but this is. They're That's it for this month. They're completely done with the site work for the most part, but there will be. Okay. There's um, $254,000 remaining after this release. Okay. So we got a little more ways to go. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah, as you mentioned, this is escrow release number eight for Greg Greg Point. All, all the items and requests have been approved by the Township Engineer's Office. It is therefore recommended to approve escrow release number eight in the amount of $15,290.60 for a project known as Greg Greg Point at 2311 Old Arthur Road. Okay. Uh, any comments from the board? Questions? Then I will make a motion to release escrow number eight, Bradbury Point, in the amount of fifteen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and sixty cents. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by Vice Chairman the Winder. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Um, escrow release number one two two zero eight Old Arch Road. I'd like to call on you. Director of Engineering Services, Jim Sullivan again. Thank you, Vice Chairman Weiner. No. This is, uh, <laughs> this is, that's release number one for 2208 Old Orange Road, the old Clements Meat Market uh, property. All the items in this uh, request have been satisfactorily created to the Council of Engineers Office and is therefore recommended to approve us for release number one, the amount of $325,451. And 77 cents. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Um, if there's no comments from the board, I'll make a motion to release escrow number one, 2208 Old Orange Road, in the amount of $325,451.77. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Supervisor Sale. <coughs> In favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Jim? That's for release number two. I didn't read the item. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, incidentally, I just realized that you make me sit in front of the flag so that when I stand, everyone can still see it. That's um, <laughs> for release number two, 2208 Old Orange Road. I'd like to call on Director of Engineering Services, Jane Sullivan, to review this item. Oh, thank you very much. Here, you you uh, yeah, for all the reasons just stated for this project, 2208 Old Arch Road, escrow release number two is ready for approval in the amount of $161,434.52. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. 
All right, I will make a motion to release escrow number two, 2208 Hall Road, for $161,434.52. Do I have a second? A second. Second by the Russia Sano. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Authorization for the sale of a used vehicle. I'd like to call on uh, Dave Chris, our financial director. Thank you, Supervisor McDevitt. Uh, I prefer to defer my time to Mr. Sullivan, though, if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how old Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Township staff is asking for permission from the board to uh, list for sale on the municipal a uh, township vehicle, the our 2011 Ford Explorer. Uh, internally, this vehicle is known as the Fire Marshal uh, vehicle. It's had some serious mechanical issues over the past uh, year or so, to the extent that it's been uh, still recommended to replace the engine. Yeah. After analysis of that, uh, it's been determined that the cost of doing so would outweigh the value of the vehicle itself. So it's been determined uh, that it will be more advantageous to list a vehicle for sale on municipal. So that's what we're asking for permission to do. I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. I think you've said it all. Anybody have any questions after Mr. Chris? All right, well then we can move on. I'll make the motion to authorize the sale of that used vehicle. Uh, do I have a, and this is through Municipal, 2011 Ford Explorer. And I'll second that motion. <laughs> second and aye. <laughs> Supervisor McDevitt, all in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> all right, item G. Authorization to submit a local share account grant application. And I'd like to call Kelly Goff again, our township engineer, to explain that. Thank you, Supervisor Gamanis. I'm happy to report on this uh, grant opportunity for the township. Um, this is the local share account. This is a new grant opportunity. There's a $1 million um, project maximum, and there's a no match requirement. And the guidelines state that anything for public improvements is eligible. So. Um, I would strongly recommend the township submit an application um, for this grant and want, if you do um, want to proceed with authorization of submission of this grant, I'll work with the uh, township staff, um, Jim Sullivan and uh, Park, to come up, to decide on a work towards a project idea. Okay, so this grant would be a non match, like you said, not a matching grant, and it's for Anything that we decide we want to use it for? It's, it's anything for public improvements is the guideline. Okay. So I, I sent a long list of very varying projects throughout the township and you know anything from signal improvements, ADA ramp improvements, park improvements, stormwater infrastructure improvements, and everything that I listed was eligible. We have plenty. We have plenty of plenty of list, right? The that 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 which is which. Who's going to get the money? And and the non-matching is a good thing for us. It's it's free money to us, and we should use it wisely. And I know we will. Any comments from any of the other board members? Questions? Okay, then I'll make a motion to authorize uh, the township engineer to submit a local share account grant application. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by Vice Chairwoman Minder. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Resolution number uh, 2853, Signature Authority Traffic Signal Maintenance Agreement. I would like to call on Director of Engineering Services, Jim Sullivan. This resolution is for Signature Authority for the Township to be allowed to sign an agreement with PennDOT for Traffic Signal Maintenance. We already maintain all our traffic signals, but PennDOT now wants a formal agreement signed. So the signature authority will allow that to be signed. If you're going to a solicitor, the agreement is ready to be signed. All we have to do is pass this resolution so it can be signed. And this would be on state control highways like, like the Cow Pike? Any signal in, in the town. Any signal, yeah. okay. The PennDOT would. It's not just, yeah, it's not just state highways, but everything. Okay, thank you. All right, any questions from the board, comments? No. Okay, hearing none, I will make a motion to approve resolution number 2853, signature authority for traffic signal maintenance agreement. Do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Second by Supervisor McDevitt. All in favor? 
Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Hotspur <coughs> Road culvert matting change order number one. I'd like to call on Council Engineer Kelly Doctor of the other. Thank you, Supervisor DeSanto. Um, so the pot shop culvert matting project was the uh, was the installation of the erosion control matting at the culvert located near Pot Shop Road and, and Truman Road. This project was put out to bid before Hurricane Ida, and then Hurricane Ida, Ida basically came in and, and caused significant damages around that um, around that culvert. So once this project was awarded to um, the contractor. We worked with, worked with them and developed um, remediation measures. So that's what this change order reflects, the remediation measures that are related to the damage of the Hurricane Ida, and it's in the amount of $24,644.69. If I could uh, add one thing, there's, there's one misprint on this. Um, pot shop road culvert matting change order number one. There won't be a number two. Um, I despise change orders. That's in the engineering world, they love it. And, uh, my engineering friends here um, call that the, the way the price of doing business. We don't do change orders. Um, you contract and, and you do the job. Um, let other townships do change orders. But this particular one was caused by the storm. Uh, but I hope you, uh, my, my engineering friends at the told I don't expect to see a number two change order come, come in front of you. So. I, have, I have a question, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Sure. So, um, Kelly, I'm looking at the um, this change order, I'm looking at the document, um, and you said, you indicated that it was 24000 <clears throat> yes, $24,644.69. I don't see that on this document. And is that $24,000 above what the original agreement was? That's correct. And what is, on the side, I'm sorry to belabor this, no, 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 I just don't know the game. But <laughs> um, what, what is it that, that made it $24,000 more? So um, there was additional erosion, so additional fill needed to be installed, um, and additional matting needed to be installed. So the erosion basically expanded from the initial eroded area. Okay, uh, Mr. Sullivan, I just have a question for you before I make a decision. Would it would it behoove the board to put this back out to bid instead of instead of paying an additional twenty four thousand dollars, or is this a fair? In your, in your estimation, is this a fair? This is a fair and reasonable cost for what they did, and work has already been done, so. Oh, okay. All right, so I need to use everybody's time. It's a full out change order. There won't be a number two. Okay, all right. all right, thank you very much. No problem. This is, this is what I say. In the engineering world, they have closed out change orders, um, which are, I didn't realize the work was already done. Which right. are as delightful as they sound. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, I have no questions. Anybody else? Questions? No, yeah. I was going to ask a question of, okay, for uh, Mr. Solon about the, in 25 words or less to explain what a matting change is, but I won't go in there. I mean, it's already been done and it's, it's good. <laughs> so, having said that, I'll ask for a motion to approve Punch-Up Road Culvert Matting Change Order. I'll take the number one off. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Supervisor DeSanto. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item J, authorization to advertise bids for the Park and Recreation Building Project. And again, we'd like to call on uh, Director of Engineering Services, Jim Sullivan. I believe Mr. Hart wants to introduce this item before I get to Yes. Um, as you know, we talked uh, a little bit about this over the course of the last couple months. Um, we have our small parks and rec building down uh, down the hill here behind the uh, township building. We were looking to expand that building, uh, maybe off the back, to help with our camp. Just given now it can it can house maybe thirty some people. We were trying to sort of just double that uh, out the back, but because of some piping issues and some uh, some other lines that are underneath that particular part of the property. Um, we thought it prudent to look right in that same area just to put up a small little building that will help um, really uh, an accent to that whole area. Um, so we do camp, it would be on the other side of the, uh, not a big building, this is just a small sort of utility, uh, multi-purpose, small building that will help 
connect that whole area from the new playground, the parks and rec building, the pavilion, and then have another you know, the building there, and maybe uh, opening doors or windows that can come up. So when we have camp, um, and uh, our senior programs are exploding out of, out of the building now. We, we had, when we started our senior programs, um, you know, we had 10, 12, 14 down. We have 30 and we're turning people away, so we know we need some more room. Um, and this would give us that opportunity for all those types of things. So that's what's before you tonight. This is just an advertisement to go out to see what it would cost us to put this. And it's kind of a prefab type of thing that they would put up there, but we're trying to get an idea of what it would cost. I don't know if Jim has anything to add on that. Um, it's a small 5,000 square foot building. Right. So, right. Um, this will be a design build kind of thing. So we'll start contractors to bid on the entire project at once. Um, we did talk to a local builder around here, and that's where we got our idea for what size it should be and what kind of bid spec we need. What's the square footage on the on the current uh, Park Smart building? Five, 5,000 square feet. Um, I think it's 2,400. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be about twice. Okay. Yeah, 20. Yeah. You did look that up. And just another question I have for this recreation building project that the 5,000 will be uh, expandable without having to be demolished and put another, we put on a bigger structure at some point. You wouldn't have to demolish it, you could certainly build on it. You could build on it, sure. okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, if you decide in the future, like a bigger building, bigger building like, right. something really substantial, yeah, yeah sure, you, you could definitely add to that. <laughs> in fact, they had mentioned, you know, a little thing for office, you know, there's, there's, a, sure. there's a lot of ideas that will come in once we get sort of the ballpark of what the heck. Like a multi-purpose. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So, thank you. Yeah. Would this be used, too, for some uh, of our recreational sports? Absolutely. I mean, we looked at this because, you know, we have a very small space as it is. Uh, everything from um, just our little pro our programs that we have, from like, you know, yoga and Zumba and all that um, that goes on to it, to all our senior programs that have, we have a vibrant uh, card club and bingo and everything that goes on uh, each week. Besides that, we have many organizations that uh, are looking for meeting space. You know, and all that kinds of those kinds of things. Besides trainings for our police, our fire, or our, our township staff, um, and, and almost anything you can think of, this building will give that opportunity to um, give us a little more room, as opposed to being, you know, packed into a, uh, a room half this size. So. Okay. Any other comments, questions? If not, I'll we'll make a. Uh, Motion to authorize to advertise the bid for the park and rec building project. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Supporter Santa. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, item K. Authorization to advertise the ADA accessible ramp project. And since you two are all in ADA, we will call on the council to coming off. And it's your show tonight, both of you. <laughs> Um, with this um, authorization, I'd recommend that you guys authorize to advertise your ADA ramp program project. This will include um, ADA ramps around 21 intersections within the township. Um, this project is also being funded by a grant that you guys receive, um, the DCD Multimodal um, Fund. I can list all 21 intersections if you'd like me to. Okay. <laughs> if anybody wants to know, they'll be available here at the township during all of this. But as you can imagine, our overall goal is to, over time, get the entire township, all of our intersections and corners, now uh, ADA accessible. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. Um, and is this a matching grant, too? It's a, actually a 0% match grant. Okay. So 0%. Good. That's the best kind. <laughs> that is the best kind. Okay. Thank you. Any comments or questions? Okay, hearing none, I'll make a motion to authorize to advertise the ADA Accessible Ramp Project. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by Chair Owen Winder. Vice Chair Owen Winder. I don't want to need to promote you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, the last item is uh, item L, monthly expenditures for January 1st through February 21st at the Con David Press. 
Thank you, Vice Chair Weiner. So presented to you tonight are the township expenditures for the month. More specifically, the expenditures from our last board meeting in the beginning of January to tonight's meeting. Uh, the total of all those expenditures were $1,580,732.42. Our accounts payable expenditures, our typical expenditure payments for utilities, supplies, services, totaled $817,509.24. And our payroll expenditures, salaries, wages, taxes, etc., were $763,229.18. Um, they are a little higher than typical, uh, but as you can imagine, uh, we've got a almost two month period from January 2nd, last meeting, to the 22nd. Um, which explains uh, why they're higher than typical. Uh, but I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have, and we're just asking you to uh, uh, approve those expenditures. Any comments, questions? All right, I'll make a motion to approve the monthly expenditures for accounts payable for payroll and for the amounts with the total of $1,508,738.42. So I have a second. Second. Second by Supervisor DeSera. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Any other business? Um, I know that I should have done this during the, um, the comments from the board. Yeah. One of the things that I want to uh, remind everyone are, as we all know, things are more expensive. Um, fuel is more expensive. Food is more expensive. Um, Please don't forget about our small businesses in East Arm Township. Um, you know, I, I during in the height of COVID, I did I did videos at the local businesses, and I found myself in a in an establishment, and they asked me to do a video because they were hurting. Um, I'll start doing the videos again. I don't have a problem with that, but um, just to remind everyone, we do have small business, and even. There are businesses in the township that are family owned and operated that are not small business, but still family owned and operated. ShopRite being one of them. Uh, the the uh, grocery outlet is another, but then there are places like Anna's Corner Store and Capone's and Via Benito, and um, we have no shortage of, of small businesses. So I just like to remind everyone in the township and anybody, you know, the thousands and thousands that are watching on Facebook um, to please go ahead and patronize our, our local businesses because. We don't want anyone to, we want everyone to get over the hump and, and, and be okay at the other side of whatever is happening economically. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, hey, thank you for that. Any other comments, questions? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna update you. Um, thank you, Chairman Bass. Uh, just a, a couple of topics. We've been um, seeing some posts on Facebook about potholes, um, specifically on the town pike and 202. Um, again, the, these are one is a state road, one is a county road. We report them immediately to the appropriate um, uh, authority. Um, we also have potholes, especially coming to the end of winter, um, on township roads. And um, our our staff, our public works staff, will be out there. You know, sometimes it's a temporary fix um, until spring gets here, which is hopefully coming soon. Um, but I just wanted everyone to know that that's uh, sometimes they see them on. Um, a Germantown Pike say they, you know, we get contacted. We, that's not our route, so we immediately contact the county. Um, and the county, you know, the county has a lot of larger roads and um, sometimes it takes a little while to get there, but I just wanted uh, the residents to be assured that we, uh, we take it seriously, we contact the county quickly, um, and we continue to stay on top of it until they get out there. Because we know, you get some of these potholes, it can do a lot of damage to a car. Um, and, and no one needs that, especially when times are uh, a little more difficult financially. Um, we also, this will have a little more information on this in the in coming meetings. Um, when you come to pay your taxes, that we, uh, we have an independent tax collector here in um, uh, East Island Township who, you know, they run, they get elected, they collect the taxes that this um, broke employed. Um, as a as a, a partnership with the tax collector, we have just purchased a a sort of a mailbox, should we say, a locked mailbox that will be um, molded outside to the wall. So, um, because we do get people that Saturday they're coming to drop something off, they can't do it um, necessarily. This will be uh, we put it on Facebook, put it out there, but it gives another opportunity. People don't have to rush here after work to get here to drop something off that it can be dropped off and save. 
um, and, and you know, be taken care of quickly and efficiently um, on their time. Not, not uh, you know, they don't have to hustle. Um, lastly, I know it's February, but spring def definitely feels on the way. Um, our public works are out there doing a lot of things, working on like getting the ground slowly but surely, um, getting them ready. It's going to be, uh, it'll be here before you know it, and eight of our, our uh, Easter egg hunt, and we're trying to up the up our game for our Easter egg hunt this year. Uh, so it looks like, with, a, with any luck, our um, COVID numbers are hopefully going in the right direction and will continue to do so. And hopefully we can enjoy as a community, a board, a staff, and our residents a really fantastic spring and really do a lot of interesting, fun stuff for our residents. So thank you, and uh, we look forward to a good month. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hart. Any citizens to be heard, Mr. Chris? There are not, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, any comments for the board yet? Okay, I just want to make one note that uh, Supervisor DePiro, you know, is not here, but she is, she has joined us via Zoom. She has uh, uh, an animal child at home that she needed to take care of, and uh, so just to get on the record that she did attend the meeting. Okay, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay, I'll follow the motion. Okay, Supervisor Sandra, I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Second by Supervisor Adele. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned.